In this video, we'll be looking for date functions. That is some more advanced date functions, part three. What is that date functions? That is date difference. Now, suppose if you want to calculate your exact age, how many years, how many months and how many days old are you? So this way you can calculate using date difference. Also, if you only want months, how many months old are you or how many days old are you? Exact days. So you can calculate using this date function, date difference. So for uh, example purpose, I've written my date of birth 30th of March 1988 and I've written today's date. These are the two dates which you need to calculate your age like this. So if I want to calculate how many years old I am, total number of years. Okay, so there's a function I'll use equal to date difference. bracket open and if you open it will not help you to give the parameters the reason is this formula is somewhere hidden so you need to find out you have you need to see this video and understand so that is start date comma end date comma if you want only years so just press double quotes in double quotes type y so it is start date comma end date and double quotes y so once you press enter it says my age is 28 years but I don't want in number of years, I want in number of months, how many months old I am. So approximately 28 years into 12 months, that is what I am looking for. Equal to date difference and that's my start date comma end date. So for years I have used Y, for months I'll use M and I'll press enter. So it says I am 339 months old today. Okay. Similarly, if I want, this was for Y years months m and for days again i'll put here d so the function will be similar di date difference start date comma end date comma in double quotes i'll put as d so once i press enter it says my age is uh, 10,333 uh, days so this is how old i am but now if i'm not interested i want i'm 28 years old three months and four days old so if i want that kind of function i'll use something in this place so please watch here so I'll type here equal to date difference. That is my start date comma end date comma double quotes y. Here's there's no change in years, but the change will be in the next function that is date difference. That is my start date comma end date double quotes y m. Now please understand the meaning of this. Why I've typed here y m because it will divide the uh, difference with the years and whatever months will be remainder that will be shown. So divide by years and whatever months are remainder that give me the answer. So once I press enter, it says I'm 28 years old and three months old. And I'll just keep my cursor in the last one. Date difference, open the bracket, select the start date comma end date comma and I'll put in double quotes as MD. The meaning of MD is divide by months and whatever days are left, give me those dates. So I'll just roughly calculate 30th of March and 14. So the difference is approximately 13 to 14 days if I'm not wrong. So once I press enter, it should say 28 years, three months and let's see how many, yeah, 14 days old. So this way you can calculate the difference between two dates in terms of months, days and years. And also you can put a reminder for your birthday also. So I hope you have understood the date difference functions. That's all for this video.